Now, we're going to move right along and talk to you about two gorgeous stoneware platters from Le Creuset. And these are available for you, one large and one smaller. Each has two wide built-in handles. And you're looking at the large platter being 16.3 by 11.4 inches. Your smaller platter is 14 by 9 by 7. So these both work very nicely together. And we've got gorgeous colors. This is all made of stoneware. Can you bake on this? You absolutely can. Can you put this in the freezer or the refrigerator? You certainly can. Can you put this in your oven or your microwave? Certainly. So all those things are going to work out beautifully for you. I'm going to come over here and remind you of our color choices. And I have a, a fancy lazy, <coughs> pardon me, lazy Susan, so I'll take you all around colors. We'll begin here with oyster. 575 in the oyster. Then I have cerise, which is the French word for cherry. 450 in that cherry, or cerise rather. This is Marseille. 575 in the Marseille. Here's Cool Mint, exclusive to QVC. 540 in the Cool Mint. And finally, I have it for you in meringue. 575 in the meringue. Five easy payments of only $18 and free shipping and handling. This is extraordinary. The five easy pays will go away at the end of day. And don't miss out on this opportunity. Let me bring that back around to Cerise because that's always our most popular color in Le Creuset, particularly during In the Kitchen with David. Oh, meringue is most popular? Oh, all right then. Let's welcome back in Greg Shockley, who did a quick presto changeo back where he is in his kitchen. How do you like that? I know, right? These are beautiful platters, and I think a lot of people just assume I can only serve on these platters when, in fact, they're very utilitarian. You can bake on these, can't you? Absolutely right. These are so, so versatile. In fact, when I talk about what you can do with these as far as cooking goes, you're going to really think it's kind of you know the same thing as cast iron. Now, David, I cooked everything on here. I actually cooked on these platters, and this couldn't be a more perfect time to have this. From your holiday meals coming up to tailgate with your nachos, where are they? Right there. Anything you can do, you can do right in your oven. Since it goes up to 500 degrees, you can broil in here. So when I put my nachos in here, I get that perfect golden brown. Now, the similarities that we talk about with cast iron and stoneware is the fact that that heat retention and distribution really works well on the stoneware, too, because it's nice and thick, which means it's going to be durable and it's insulated. So when I put my nachos in there or I put my ham in there, when I go to the table, I can just put this oven to table. It's perfect. And then on the cold side, if you want to put this in the freezer or the refrigerator, it's going to keep your fruit cold for your brunch. It's going to keep one of your desserts cold just long enough for everyone to kind of tackle it. Or your so, salad nice and crisp until food. you're ready to serve it, right? That's absolutely right. So whether you're David, filling this full of uh, Halloween uh, trick or treat or you're baking on here like we did with this rustic cherry tart or our Tony Luke's chicken or beef cheese steaks that are coming up a little later in the show, salads, we baked a pizza here. We put a great big, how big a turkey do you think you can get on here, Greg? On the large one. How big a turkey? Probably like a 12 pound. I've got a, I've got like an eight and a half pound roaster right here, David. Mm -hmm. And I've got some veg on the side. So it looks, you can see I got plenty of room still to go on here. So it's pretty big. And then, you know, keeping on the holiday theme, I've got about a 12 pound spiral cut ham as well with room for the veggies as well. So, you know, this is the perfect, again, for the holidays, it's great. Let me note one thing just too while I'm actually thinking of this. We've got the, ha the holes right here on the sides, so they make for perfect candles. So if you're coming out of the oven or coming out of the freezer and you got your oven mitt, there's plenty of room to kind of go down safely and land. Oh, they're just beautiful. These handles are nice and big and easy for you to handle when this is cold. If you are handling it hot out of the oven, then use your oven mitts because it will conduct the heat. Let's come over and talk to you about color choices and remind you that these are $90. Five easy payments and free shipping and handling. So it works out really nicely. This red color is called Cerise. 325 remaining. Cerise is the French word for cherry. Marseille is named after the southern port city of France. And we have 360 left in that Marseille blue. Exclusive to QVC is the Cool Mint. Fewer than 500 to go around in that Cool Mint. Very popular in this show is the Meringue. 375 in the Meringue. And then finally, I have it for you in the Oyster. 470 to go around in the oyster. Let me also turn one of these around and show you on the back. You've got the Le Creuset embossed logo in the bottom of the pan, or the bottom of the platter, I should say. And here are those handles making it so easy for you to work with. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're going to uh, check with Mary because I understand she's going into the fridge. Well, you know, when I'm chatting live with everyone at home, I also like to stop every now and then and get a shrimp platter together. So, David, <laughs> there you go, Mary. got this one ready to go. Hey, Greg. Um, but Hi. this this is a party on a platter right here. Do you want me? Can I bring it over to him? You guys mind? I'm gonna bring. It. You get to see Chef Jeffrey Zakari getting ready. Um, but you know what? Take a look. Look how gorgeous that presentation is, and the stoneware is gonna help keep it cold, right? Exactly. And if yeah, you were yeah. doing maybe a, a mixed seafood salad for a party or appetizers, Ooh. the ideal for that because yep. you could do it early, get it, get the work out of the way, and then park it in the fridge and let it be chilled. And there's a little bevel to it, so if you wanted to have a pasta with a sauce or something, it's gonna hold it beautifully. What if you're doing a whole platter of chicken piccata? Oh, that's a lot of chicken piccata. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. I like where you're going with, with that. With capers and angel hair pasta and a beautiful, gorgeous sauce. Ooh. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Eight, how many are gone now? Over 800 of these are gone. These are the kinds of platters you're going to reach for. You'll serve one, you'll bake on, you could bake cookies on these if you wanted to. These are the shortbread cookies from our cookbook that sold out. So there is an opportunity for you to do that. Here's that bolognese sauce that I made today. Go along with my spaghetti squash, and we use the spaghetti squash on the platter, and talk about a nice low carb alternative to spaghetti bolognese. Look at that. There you go, David. And delicious. Awesome. And of course, I would hit that with plenty of Parmesan cheese because that's a slow absorbing cheese, part skim cheese, which you can have, and I eat it a lot. <laughs> All right. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Mr. Shockley, it is always a pleasure, sir, to have you back with us. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. See you. Take care, Bye, pal. Man. So stay on the line here. We're going to get you all squared away with something really beautiful. And right now, let's cut right to the heart of the issue. Over by the stove, mister. Eyes on you.